Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is get my hair pretty much all the way dry using a microfiber towel. And then I like to use a detangling spray. This is from Redken and it does a lot of things. It's nourishing and it balances the pH in the hair and it just is awesome. So now I'm also gonna use this little brush. I can't remember the name of the brand. I got it from a hair show, but it is very similar to the wet brush. And it just has like these malleable bristles, which means it works through the tangles of my hair without snagging and like ripping my hair out or anything. It's just like a more gentle brush. But keep in mind, if you are blonde, you will lose some hair. That is just what comes with the territory, girl. It's okay, don't freak out. Now I'm gonna put this bonding oil. This is from Olaplex. This is like Jesus juice for your hair. Um, the reason I like this oil is because it also has a heat protectant in it. And so, yeah, I put this on. Then I put a styling cream in my hair and this is from the Moroccan oil brand. And I just work it all the way through my hair. This is a thickening spray. This is just from the brand Amika. And working it through my hair. So I'm gonna go back to that little brush and just make sure all the product is evenly distributed throughout my hair. And yeah, there we go. So I have more fine texture hair and so I like to get my hair 80% dry, rough drying before I section off and start round brushing my hair. However, if you obviously have thicker hair, you can't do this. But yes, I look crazy before the cute. It's a process. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this Olivia Garden brush and I just like to section my hair off and get it as smooth as the, at, and get it as smooth as I can using a babeless blow dryer and my little rose gold Olivia Garden brush. And so I do typically about three sections and then when I get to that top section, I kind of pick out about where I want my part and just lift my roots up and get my hair all the way dry so then I can smooth out the ends and the rest of it with my round brush. So now I'm gonna go in with a little paddle brush. This is from Aveda. And I kinda just make sure there's no little wet spots that I miss and kinda just like an extra smoothing before I go in with my flat iron. And girl, it's hot trust so real quick I just want to show you guys um, some of the breakage that I have around my hairline just from honestly the stylist that did my hair last time just over processed um, and didn't use a lot of bonder and so also my natural hair is dark and this is just the result of that sometimes when your hair is already on the drier side and brittle it can tend to break off around those weaker points, like around your hairline and around your, um, just like the perimeters of your hair. So yeah, I'm gonna establish about where I want my part first. And I'm gonna go back in with that bonding oil simply because it is so good for your hair, girl. And again, it has the heat protected in it, so I really make sure I uh, run this product over the broken bits of my hair and also my ends that are more dry is really well So this is the h2 pro flat iron. It's a ceramic iron and I typically like to use ceramic irons on my blonde hair now because I don't need all the extra heat from a titanium um, Plated iron that's just unnecessary heat the ceramic iron heats up more evenly so it's just a little bit safer on my blonde hair, but obviously if you have a thicker, coarser hair type, using a titanium straightener might work best for you as long as you just keep it at a decent temperature. I usually say anything between 390 and 410, definitely nothing higher than that. But if you have a thicker, coarser hair and you just need a little bit extra strength to get your hair very smooth, you can try the titanium 
plated hair straightener. And I just left that a little piece, so I just pick it up and I curl it in the same direction as the piece in front of it. And so I always, always, always brush out my section before I go over it with my flat iron because if you have any little snags or knots in your hair and then you smash it between two hot plates, that is definitely gonna cause breakage and more damage to your hair. My personal preference too, I like to take diagonal sectionings. I feel like it all just flows smoother together, but however you go about it, that's your prerogative. That's just the way I do it. And I like to curl my front pieces forward and I'll tell you guys why in a second when I get to smoothing out those little broken pieces. Also, if you guys wanna see a more in-depth tutorial on how I make curls with a flat iron, let me know that down in the comments below. I can do that on a model so I can show you a little bit better what I'm doing. So I'm gonna use a light hair, light hold hairspray. This is the air, air control hairspray from Aveda. And then I just kind of squeeze my curls up to the top of my head while they cool before I shake them out. Cause shaking out curls that are still hot, your curls are more than likely gonna fall if you don't let them cool first. So now I'm just kind of flipping the hair, my hair back and forth molding it and kind of getting the general gist of the shape that I like and so now I'm gonna use one of these two products I like the beeswax because it's a little bit of a lighter hold and it's not as shiny as the shine jam and then I just use a little toothbrush yes this is a clean toothbrush I did not brush my teeth with this and I put it on the back of my hand first because it is white in the tube but once you rub it in, it will turn clear. So I kind of just smooth my hair and mold the shape of the hair, my hair um, just right around the edges just so all that hair is laying down smooth and it's not like sticking out or looking all frayed. And then I bring my hair forward that I curled so it kind of hides back there and looks like I kind of tucked behind my ear. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side, just really smoothing those edges into the back of my hair. Once I get them pretty smoothed, then I like to kind of bring my hair forward. And that's what I was saying about why I like to curl my hair forward, because then I kind of hide the hair. And then I just fluff. I might tuck it behind my ear. I'm really just shaping what I, the kind of look I'm going for. And yeah, this is how I style my blonde hair. <laughs> 